Make it dance, land dwellers. Found
Halt! Who goes there? De Sade. I am the legate of the merchant congregation. Oh, well, you can come in, Your Excellency. But this savage, on the other hand... Am I the one you call a savage, Renaigse? This young lady is the princess of her people, and she is with me. As such, I would appreciate if you let us through. Very well, Your Excellency. Please go and find the captain. I'd feel better knowing that he gave you his endorsement. Your Excellency, what do you want? Allow me to introduce Siora, the daughter of Queen Bladnid, whom you faced on the battlefield. We understand that you brought her mother here, and I would like to negotiate her liberation. Her liberation? That'll prove difficult. She's dead. No! You! You let her die! You may even have finished her off like an agonizing animal! Well, we didn't need to. When we collected her up from the battlefield, she was severely wounded. She died on the way to the camp. I want to see her body on al -Manawi. Please, I must see her. Can we see her, Captain? If you're the one who's asking, Your Excellency, it should be possible. You're in luck. We were thinking about getting rid of it, but we received the order to keep her body. It's still at the infirmary. Ask the doctor. He'll show it to you. Thank you, Captain. Siora, I'm terribly sorry. Let's go see her now. I need to... I will pray for her soul, Siora, so that the Enlightened may welcome her in his glory. The infirmary must be the building on the right, near the camp entrance. Let's go. Are you looking for a doctor? I'm the legate of the congregation, and this is Siora, the daughter of the queen whose remains you are keeping. I would like to see her. I need to see her. Please. My condolences, madam. The body of your mother is back there in the room on the left. I should give you some privacy while you are mourning. We won't be far. And of our tear too, my dear. Men sit a den on Milfrichtemann. I must take her with me on Almanawi. We must perform the rituals. The captain said that he was instructed to keep her body. It will not be easy to convince him to disobey. I do not care about the captain's orders. She is my mother. She must be given back to the Earth. So, let's go back to see the captain and try to make him change his mind. You can try, but with all due respect, I doubt that you will succeed. He will not want to draw attention to himself by disobeying this order. What do you mean? I believe he is a traitor, and that he made a deal with Telemi. Those are some serious accusations, even for a member of the Guard. Why would you believe such a thing? I overheard a conversation that got me thinking, and I also saw certain documents. We could use them to pressure him. Did you take them? No, that would be too risky. I do not want to get into trouble. But I suppose they would still be amongst his other belongings. Will they let us rummage through this place without protesting? Most of the Guards returned to Hikmet after the battle was over. If you are discreet, you should be able to enter the officer's building. Thank you for your help, Doctor. Shouldn't you ask the Captain first? Maybe he'll change his mind. You're right. Let's try talking to him before rummaging through the camp.
The doctor was right. They are trafficking weapons illegally with San Mateus. If word reaches Hikmet, these men will face a firing squad. But none of these documents are signed. The captain managed to cover his tracks. Here's a document that could be useful. They're meeting with the buyers. Then we should go there. He won't be able to deny it if we catch him red-handed. There is a risk that he will react violently. But we have no other choice. Let's go then. I know this place. It is further down the road, near a large tree. Here we are. This is the tree that was mentioned. Let's hide while we wait for them to arrive. Well, Captain, you have some peculiar friends for a man who obeys the Alliance. You? What are you doing here? We stumbled upon some strange documents and wanted to see for ourselves if there was any truth to them. Sorry, my friends. If you want our shipment, then we need to get rid of this nosy legate. Captain, you are making a grave mistake. Come on, I'll take All we want is to negotiate. I want the body of my mother. May the shadow engulf our enemies. Enough! I surrender! I would never have thought that you would dare to attack allies of the congregation. It seems to me that you were the one who attacked. How did you put it? This nosy legate? And why are you on his side, Father? I defended myself, just like my friend. And I know Cornelia would not approve of these little trades with the enemy. Had you simply listened to us, Captain, this fight would not have taken place. All we wanted was for you to respectfully deliver the body of the Queen to her village. And will you stay silent about what you saw? We are neutral. Trading amongst yourselves does not concern us. In that case, very well. I'll return to the outpost and ensure it's done. Now I would like for us to return to my village. I am eager to reunite with my sister. In that case, let's return to Vedrais. Protect me in this battle! Found it, Dara, Grimmer, Dam! 
May the shadowing Can protect me in this battle. Found the Dara Grimeterum Dam. Close to his darkness, Kiri. May the shadow engulf our enemies. Honor Manawi, do you need something? I must leave you. See you later.
Oh, Ono Manawi, do you want to trade? Do you see anything you would like to exchange? If you want to trade again, you know where to find me. I know, Siora. And the worst here say, some men delivered her remains here. They said that it was thanks to you. And the Renaigze legged, thank you. We will be able to pay homage to our mother. Why are there mind shakers here, Aselt? I meant to tell you about it. They came saying that our mother had made an agreement with Teleme. But Mater did not tell me about it. She didn't say anything to me either. I do not like this, Iseld. These people want to drive us away from the land. I know. But we need help after the defeat. And they say that she made a promise set in stone. The spirits of the people of our village would have to go to the light, and in exchange, they'd help us against the lions. This is impossible. Mater would never have done such a thing. They are lying, I'm certain of it. They may be. But if there really is a promise set in stone, we cannot break it. And we will have to bury our mother according to their rituals. We must verify it. I will not stand there while these mind shakers take our village.
may the enlightened protect me in this battle. Quessy! Get out! Who do you think you are to defoil our ritual? One of those moin shakers, no doubt. Aiden, it is your duty to assure we are not interrupted. A thousand pardons, Tien. It is indeed one of those moin shakers. A moin shaker? Look at him more closely, Aiden. He is on Almanawi. Present yourself and tell me why you interrupt our ceremony. My name is Desarde. I have come looking for you to ask for your help. I greet you, Donegad. We are so sorry to have interrupted your ritual. But my friend truly needs your advice. Don't excuse yourself. Are you the daughter of Bladned? Are you not a Donegad as well? It is true. But my powers of healing are far less powerful than your own. And you travel with a mind shaker. Strange trio. I am Bishop Petrus, but I am not a mind shaker. A missionary. Why, pray tell, are you asking? There are people wearing the same insignia that pass their time troubling the minds of my people. Missionaries? I was not aware. I'm only here to accompany my friend, I assure you. He is not a bad man, Donegad, even if his beliefs are foreign and strange. Then, how can I help you? My cousin suffers from a terrible sickness, the Malikor. I do not know this sickness, but perhaps we call it by a different name. It turns the blood black and provokes terrible suffering, and alas, it is fatal in all cases. We've never seen the ailing touched by such a sickness. And I doubt I am able to heal your cousin. We are looking for a remedy, but urgently need to relieve his pain. Could you slow the progression of the sickness? Keep him from suffering? In that, I can help you. I know how to make one forget the pain, even the most severely wounded. But Tiern, with all that is happening now, you cannot leave to visit this ill person. It is true. My village needs me now. I cannot leave, and must attend them. What is going on? Perhaps we can help you. Truly? You? Do they have a choice, Aiden? They do really seem to have need of me, don't they? Well then, tell us what we need to do. The situation has become unbearable. 
And it all started when these Moin Shakers began arriving. They wanted to convert everyone and take them to another place, turn them away from us. And of course, the village folk would not be persuaded, but the Moin Shakers remained. And it was also at that time the Tenlen started to attack. It is not their way to do as such. There are many wounded, and recently many have gone missing. We must discover from where these monsters come. I can try and talk sense into the missionaries, perhaps with the help of Bishop Petrus. As for the attacks of the creatures, I will see what I can do, but I need more information. Our master hunter, or the families of the Taken, could most likely help you. Very well. I'll take care of it. Make preparations to accompany us. The days are burning like very thin candles. Do not worry. If you see to the concerns of my village, I will be most happy to accompany you. Let's go and see this master hunter. He should be able to tell us more about these attacks. Good day. Are you the Master Hunter? Beur tir tu madre naikse. I am indeed one and the same person. What do you want of me? The Rene Gad Katasach spoke to me about the animal attacks. Could you tell me more? The Tenlans have been angered. They are very angry. The beasts have always lived here. But they only attack if we tread near their nest. Of late, they attack on sight. There have been many wounded, and some of our young have even disappeared. It may be that the Tenlands killed them, but it is also possible they followed the missionaries. What can you tell me about the Tenlands? They are normally very peaceful creatures. Very calm, but who defend their young with fury. During the attacks, I noticed that they were not all the same. Not all from the same nest. What do you mean? That the other beasts don't come from here, but from other places. And that they are coming more and more often. Were there many victims? Many wounded. Thanks to the healing powers of the Donegad, they survived. But the attacks happen more and more often, and they come with greater fury. I try to chase them away, to destroy any nests that I found, but still, more of them come. And now our children disappear. The stress alone could kill our village. Can you tell me who they are? A young fisherman and a gatherer. You will find the sister of the woman and the brother of the man in the village. I will go and see them. I believe I can help you in your fight against the Tenlands. How would you advise me to go about it? You must destroy their nests. It's sad, but the only way to stop their numbers growing there are most likely three around here. I can point you in the direction to one that I discovered. I would have taken care of it, but my village cannot spare my presence here. I must keep watch. I did not find the two others. Some in the village may know where to find them. And how would I go about destroying the nests? You must burn them and kill the dominant one or else they will build again. We see them especially at dawn. After that, we no longer see them. But be careful, Renaxi. The night belongs to the Tenlands. That is when they are most awake. Going out at night is very dangerous. I thank you for your advice. We shall go and destroy the nest come dawn. 
Isn't it odd that these creatures who are normally passive have become so aggressive? Yes. Yes. This has never happened in my lifetime. What do you know? Speak. Lives are at risk. I do not speak of things I am not sure of. The Renaixe, like you, do not understand the bond we have with nature. Is there anything that we might be able to do for you? Besides destroying their nests and fighting the Turnlands, do you know the art of crafting weapons? Our artisan was among the wounded, and my weapon is broken. I can try to repair it. Here, in this condition, it is of no use to me at all. What do you know about the missionaries? The Moin Shakers? They came here before the attacks of the Tenlands and buzz around us like flies. They speak of light, of demons, and the soul. Their words make little sense. All that they want is for us to join their village, and that we serve them as if they were Tiern. They want to make us Renaixe. They want to sever our bond with our lands. Their words do not touch those old enough to understand. But the young are sometimes swayed and listen. They follow them to their Eden village. And they become their servants. Their bond is cut. Have you tried to fight them? No. But some have fought, because they treat the young girls badly. I think if not for the attacks, no one would have turned to them and their light. But hope fled our village, and the weak of courage have doubts and listen to their lies. It sounds as if the attacks began at a timely moment for the missionaries. Look. I really need you to tell me what you know about the cause of the attacks. I regret I cannot speak words about something you would not understand. And as you say, it is only an intuition. I must be going. Katazak advised us to speak with the families of those missing. Perhaps they might know where the Tenlands have built their nests. Here is your weapon. It is just like new. Thank you. You have given it back its purpose. It belonged to my master before me, and you have understood its nature. It may be that you are more on Ormanawi than Renaixe, and that you will one day see as we. During my walks, I saw a great Tenlan of clear skin. The others seemed to follow him. I felt that he called them, that he fed them rage, and that his place is not here. Why didn't you try to kill it? He is very strong, and the others protect him. I was only able to track him to his lair. A cavern. I placed traps all around it, but all were avoided. He is clever. You say he doesn't have his place here. What do you mean? That he was brought here. To attract the others and make them rage. By men. The Renaixe. Eh? But I cannot prove this. That is why I did not wish to voice these thoughts. I feel it. Nothing more. I must be going.
Good day. My name is Desar Day from the congregation. I've been told that someone dear to you has disappeared. Yes, my little brother. He left to go fishing, like every day, and he did not return. Your Donegad asked me to help you. Any information you can give me would be very useful. This is true. I hope your words to be heartfelt. My insides are twisting in fear that my brother is lost. Can you describe your brother for me? He is young, rather tall and strong. The girls find him handsome. He is such a nice boy, but he is wild off the tether, and often his curiosity gets him in trouble. Did your brother have any enemies? No, I can't think of anyone who would plant strangleweeds in his garden. Perhaps a youthful rivalry. He didn't get along particularly well with the Master Hunter, but it was nothing serious. Perhaps the missionaries. He did get into a fight with them, but they surely wouldn't have taken him. That could be a lead. Was he close to anyone? He has been dreamy and more joyful than usual. Those are the signs of someone stricken with love. But he no longer wants to share secrets with me. He told me that he has grown beyond the shadow of his brother. And the birds in his branches are his. Can you tell me more precisely when he disappeared? Where and under what circumstances? It was two days past. I saw him leave to go fishing, as he was often to do. And you cannot remember anything out of the ordinary? No, he was full of joy. Full of life. I am so worried about him. What do you think most likely happened to him? He could have come face to face with Tenlands. They've become angry of late. But he knew how to avoid them. He might have had a run-in with the Mind Shakers as well. He got into a fight with them a while back. Because of a young girl in our village. You think the missionaries might have sought vengeance? I don't know, but he might have went to find them in their village. He bears no good feelings towards them. I will go and see. Maybe they can tell me more. I must be leaving. Good day. I have been sent here by your Donegad. He asked me to help you. I hope he is right, and that you are not like the Moin Shakers. My sister has gone missing. It is for that very reason that I am here. To attempt to find her, or to understand. Then I will tell you what I know. Your sister, what does she look like? She is a very beautiful young woman. Coined and sweet. I miss her so very much. Is she very careful? Does she know she should be wary of the beasts? Oh yes, she knows it very well. But she has been star-eyed of late. And the stars make you forget all caution. Is there anyone in the village that might want her harmed? No. No, everyone loves her. Maybe a little too much. Why do you say that? She is beautiful and young. The Mind Shakers took notice, and the boys of the village did as well. How long has she been missing? Two nights have gone by since. She told me that she was going to gather berries. It was early in the day, but she never returned. I called for her from the edge of the village, in vain, and the Ten Lands were roaming. Do you know where she usually goes picking? Certainly. In the clearing. We find a great many berries there. What do you think likely happened to her? She might have been attacked by the Tenlands. But it was early, and they come out mostly at night. You think it might have been something else? 
I hope. Even if it is a strange hope. Perhaps she was taken by the Mind Shakers. They were pestering her the other day. They behaved without respect. A boy intervened and chased them off. But do you think that they might have captured her outside of the village? That merits inspection. Your sister. By chance, was she fond of a young fisherman who also disappeared? They have known each other since they were little. Like all the children of the village, they have always been friends. Only friends? Yes. He defended her when the Mind Shakers wanted to take her. But she is promised to another. I couldn't care less about her reputation. An engagement can be broken. If you know anything at all. I have told you all I know. My sister is certainly wounded somewhere or taken by the Mind Shakers. Very well. Let's continue. Tell me about the Tenlands, about their attacks. Before, I only very rarely came across the beasts. We knew their nesting grounds and kept clear of them. But now they are everywhere and they attack everyone. They've even been known to come as close as the clearing where we pick berries. Very far from their favorite grounds. Do you know how to fight them? No, I am not a fighter. If you want such advice, ask the Master Hunter. Well, I will go and investigate this clearing. Perhaps they've built a nest near there. It is possible, because before there was never one near there. Could you tell me anything about the missionaries? They are monosynaic. They think that they can take anything they desire. What do you mean? They came to our beautiful village. They wanted to take away our young people. Many heard their words and left. We never saw them again. But I saw how they treated my sister. I believe that they take the young to serve them. They wanted to take my sister like that, as if she were a tool. And if it were not for the young fisherman... The one who is also missing? Yes. He was very brave. I hope they didn't hurt her to avenge their pride. I'm going to have to go and speak with them. I must leave now. Good day. I am the legate of the Congregation of Merchants on this isle. Might I ask you a few questions? Of course. Our allies from the continent are always welcome among us. What do you want to know? Have you heard about the Tenlin attacks on the village? I didn't know those creatures were given that name, but... Yes, we have heard talk about the attacks. We offered them our help and some comfort in their most difficult hour. In exchange for some inspiring conversation, I suppose. Of course. 
These horrible beasts have most certainly been sent by the demons of this isle. To chase only a few away would be of no use. If they truly desire peace, they must see the light. You haven't been victim of these attacks. On occasion, yes. But thanks to the Illuminated, we were able to chase them away with little effort. Could you tell me what your mission here is? We must return these lost souls to the light and guide them so that they might receive the revelation. We have constructed the perfect village, Eden, where they might discover peace. In this protected paradise, they can receive divine teachings and join the illuminated chosen people. You seem to assert that the attacks of these Tenlands is somehow linked to the demons on the isle. Whereas these are creatures that the natives have always known. They nest beside them. These are familiar beasts, but hasn't anyone informed you that their patterns have changed? These creatures have been riled up by the demons of the island, who have come to realize we are near victory. Sending them against these poor people, they maintain them in a state of fear and obedience to their shaman healer. There is only one way to truly make these attacks cease, my child. Convert these people. Defeat these demons. The Donegad wishes your departure. You disturb the tranquility of their village. And you expect us to obey him? Haven't you understood that he is a servant of the island's demons? To leave would be to abandon the simplistic souls of all those that follow him, ceding victory to the demons. No, my child. We will not leave this place until the light shines over every dwelling. And for how long have you been alone here attempting to bring them to the light, my sister? A long time, but that is of little import. Bringing over but a single soul. My sister, it is my sad regret to announce that San Mateus has fallen into the hands of the coin guard. Our mother cardinal has found refuge in the court of his highness Constantin Dorsey, in New Serene. You do understand that maintaining privileged relations with our ally is now of utmost importance. What are you saying? Let's just say that ceding to her requests seems to be the most gracious of paths. Very well, my father. We shall leave as soon as we are ready to travel. <laughs>